morning and welcome back to the channel the old 37 homestead um, I'm doing another video this is gonna be the third um, easy thing to grow in Florida we've covered um, cassava and we've covered yams true yams so I want to introduce the third thing and that's Seminole pumpkin now remember this is not in any particular order or anything like that I'm not listing from 1 to 10 or whatever I'm just giving a good uh, <clears throat> list of things that are easy to grow in a Florida garden so that you can get out there and get growing yourself this is one of my Seminole pumpkin vines you can see that's uh, one of the male flowers right there it hasn't been making it made one female flower and you can tell the female flower because it'll have the um, the ovary on the bottom which ends up becoming the fruit but these are supposedly native to Florida I know the Native Americans that lived in Florida um, <clears throat> grew Seminole pumpkin and one of the things that makes them effective in Florida other than being able to withstand the heat even though you'll have to pardon this one's a little sickly looking for some reason but they will as they as they go along this little well it's dried up now but this was a this was a root and at every single little node little joint right here where it touches the ground it will send down another root so one of the things that we have a lot of here in Florida are the vine boring insects and they really like um here's my other one this one's better looking um they really like uh stuff like pumpkins squash anything in the cucurbita family and what they'll do is they'll bore into the base of the vine and they'll eat down there it's a, it's a larva and it will kill the vine completely well, the nice thing about Seminole Pumpkin is since it sprawls and doesn't climb, since it sprawls and every leaf node it sends down another root, if something harms right down here, where like this is the base of it where I'm pointing there, and it starts to kind of get damaged there or something like that, it can still support itself with all these roots that it's putting down, you know, so when you grow seminal pumpkin it's best not to train it up any sort of trellis let it sprawl on the ground because of that <clears throat> and here you can see this one hasn't bloomed yet but it's about to um this one is much better for some reason in much better shape than my other one i love the leaves have that like variegation in them now one thing to note well, pumpkins grow in a variety of different shapes and sizes they don't get very big um, and they don't always they're not always orange there are some that actually stay green there are some that are white and then you know varying shades between white and orange my some of them grow kind of oblong sort of pear shapes mine that I have grow like a typical pumpkin shape the the kind of flat and round well, it's typical like a pie pumpkin shape. Um, it's not like a jack-o'-lantern pumpkin where it's going to get really big and you can, you know, um, it's really hollow on the inside. Um, <clears throat> and, um, but yeah, and they don't get like the really deep, vibrant orange. The, the one that I have turns like a creamy orange. And, um, but you actually don't go by the color. To know when to harvest it you go by wherever there's a pumpkin you watch the stem if the stem once the stem starts to um, kind of yellow and and die out then you know it's time to harvest uh, and the, the pumpkin could be any sort of color depending on which kind of strain I guess that you have um, like I said mine are orange mine are the like the kind of light creamy orange but when you when you cut the stem you need to cut and leave at least like an inch or two on the top of the pumpkin and 
as the, if you cut it too close, you you run the risk of some, the like if you pull the stem off or something like that, you run the risk of kind of opening up the pumpkin itself and then it won't store. So you need to leave some stem on and let that stem dry out so that it keeps the pumpkin nice and completely sealed up and it will store. Um, the best thing to do, now you can, you can harvest them and eat them immediately, uh, but to give them some a more robust flavor, let them sit for, you know, a few months. And all I do is I just, I, I'll take a piece of like masking tape and put it on there and put the date that I harvested it. And then I just let it sit in kind of a, a cool, dark room and, um, let it kind of mature, if you will, for a few months and then we'll use it. I've heard some people say that, you know, they only last like once they are once you have them for three, four, five months, you need to use them because they're not good anymore. Then I've heard people say that they can last up to a year. So, you know, that depends on, I, I have not eaten them past, you know, like that far down the road, but we usually use them pretty quick. And they, to me, in my opinion, are the best tasting pumpkins. I mean, they have so much flavor. Like if you get a can of pumpkin, it's just kind of a flavorless mush. And if you buy the pie pumpkins, you know, yeah, they're better, but they're still not as good. These have so much flavor. Um, they're good to use for sweet things. They're good to use for savory things. Uh, my wife one time just, we had one that when we harvested it, it uh, had some insect damage. So we weren't sure if it would have stored. So we just went ahead and, and um, went ahead and cooked it right away. So she just, she cubed it and then put it in our air fryer with some cubed apples and she put some cinnamon on it and stuff like that. And it was great. Um, but yeah, the, the Seminole pumpkin will grow right through the summer into the fall. Um, and as you can see, it will take over everywhere. They are really, really good ground cover to plant because it will vine and it will run everywhere. So, uh, yeah, if you're looking for a good, a good ground cover that's very, very productive, very um, proliferous, pro pro prolific, sorry, can't speak this morning, uh, Seminole Pumpkin is the way to go. Now, I will say, just like most everything else, when it gets hot in the summer, during the afternoon, when the, when the sun is, like, the strongest, all the leaves will wilt. But that doesn't mean that it is... Um, dying or anything because all you have to do is pay attention to it and during like when the sun starts to set in uh, the evening the leaves should perk back up and look just like you know not necessarily just like this but they'll look like they do first thing in the morning um, if they if they do wilt and you know don't perk back up or they start to lose color and all that stuff then yeah it seems like something's wrong with it but um, and these don't particularly, they're not particularly picky about soil because the soil out here in my garden is terrible. Um, <clears throat> but they, uh, they can grow in, in sort of lacking soil, but they obviously do better if they're getting fertilized and watered and stuff like that. They're not quite like the cassava and the yam that you can just completely leave alone. Um, but yeah, Seminole pumpkin is very easy very low maintenance you just let it go wherever it wants to if you want to control where it goes you don't want it going one direction or the other just pick up and move the vines and it'll go in the, a different direction so um so yeah that's that's going to be my third uh, installment for this um you can buy some little pumpkin seeds just search online i've gotten mine from a place called mary's heirloom seeds i i link her website a lot um but you can get them you know i mean if you're watching this and you want some seeds just message me i can give send you some seeds but uh yeah they're they're not that hard to find so um and they germinate pretty well so um yep that's gonna be it for today go get you some seminal pumpkin seeds and get planting 
Um, I've grown, I've planted them both in the spring and in the fall, and they grow. Um, they don't take a freeze, so they will die if that happens. But um, yeah, that's going to be it for today. Thanks for tuning in again. I appreciate everyone who's watching. Um, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this all around, and I'll see you on the next video.